Hello, welcome again. Today I want to show you the optical encoder. This piece called optical encoder. Usually we can find this one in the scanners, printers, and whatever device that require a precise position of the head. For example, if you have a printer or scanner or whatever. Okay, these kind of encoders, they are linear, so they will move in, in linear movement, and there are a rotary encoders like this. These are also encoders. Okay, so this one can determine the, the direction of the rotation of the motors and also can determine the speed. Just for example, here also we can find another example. Okay. These are very important uh, sensors or devices being used to, to determine the position and the precise location of uh, of any system, for example, you have a head or or arm of robots or whatever. So after this, I'll try to to hook up one of these encoders. Then I'll show you how it works on the oscilloscopes. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so here I disassembled this optical rotary encoder as we can see here on the top of this DC motor okay so it's attached to the to the shaft to the DC motor shaft whenever we rotate these this transparent disc will rotate as well okay I also reverse engineering the connector <coughs> of this board so later we can hook it up on the oscilloscope to see the output of this uh, optical sensor. Before that, I just want to give you an, a general idea about this optical encoder, <coughs> how it works. Uh, usu uh, usually we have a, like this, we have a light source from here. Okay, shining on a transparent film. This is transparent film with some of dark areas and transparent areas. And, okay, these are dark and transparent film. This is the one. This is the transparent film. <coughs> okay, we can see some of dark areas around. And on opposite side, there is a light sensor. Okay, so this light will go through the transparent places where it can go through or penetrate this film and go to the light source, whereby the the dark areas will <coughs> will not allow the light to to go through it to the light. Okay, and from there we can get some square waves. From this square waves output from the light sensor can calculate the speed of the motor and the direction. Something more to add, here we don't have only one sensor. Actually we have two sensors. That's why we have two channels here. We have channel A and channel B whereby channel B is about 90 degrees 90 degrees shifted channel A shifted to channel B okay this phase shift it will be according to the direction of the rotation okay in case of clockwise or counterclockwise, as we will demonstrate later. Okay, so from here, 
we have channel A, channel B, ground, and the VCC or the source for the light. Okay. So stay tuned. Later we hooked up to the oscilloscope and see the output. Okay. So here I hooked it up to a power supply. Has a power supply with about five volts. Okay. And also I hooked two oscilloscope channels, channel A and channel B. And here we can see there is no output. So once we start to rotate the shaft of the motor, then we can see the output of the of the rotary optical encoder. So once we start to rotate then we can see the channels we can see how beautiful they are we can shift this one up a bit let's write this down okay one more so this is all. okay see how beautiful they are by the way the duty cycle of each wave this one channel a this channel b the duty cycle of each wave depending on the rotational speed of the motor. Okay? If I rotate it very slow now, very slow. Try to put one in one. Okay? I'll try to rotate it very slow. See how high or long duty cycle? When I rotate very fast. So duty cycle will be shorter. Okay, so from the duty cycle we can calculate the speed of the motor, and from the <clears throat> from the phase shift of these two channels we can find or calculate the direction of the rotation. Okay, so if we set the trigger here to see, let's say let's set the trigger to to here, then run. Trigger on, single shot, sorry, single shot, then boom. So we can see here the phase shift of the two waveforms. This channel A, this channel B. We can see channel A is, <coughs> is shifted from channel B by 90 degree. Okay. This is the say if we if we rotate clockwise. If I rotate counterclockwise, then this is opposite now. Now channel B, if we take the positive edge, now channel B is faster than channel A. Okay? Or channel B, you can see lagging, lagging than channel A by 90 degree. Okay, so this is the full idea of the rotary encoder. This we can find it in most or all of the motors, drivers, and also any system need to to find the precise location of the motor or any moving parts. Okay. So from here you can write some code to detect this. Uh, you can detect the movement or detect the, the duty cycle of the waveform or also de detect the phase shift of these two uh, signals to find the direction and the speed of the motor using the any microcontroller or microprocessor. Uh, maybe in the next, uh, next videos I will try to make some video on how to write the code to to drive this encoder. Okay, thank you very much, and see you next time.